Welcome back to part 27 of our Blender 4.0 documentation expedition. If you enjoy software educational content like this, please be sure to support the channel by liking and subscribing. Let's get started. In the last video, we looked at texture painting. In this video, we are looking at vertex painting. Vertex painting and texture painting are two different methods of applying color to 3D models in Blender. Vertex painting involves assigning a color to a specific vertex or set of vertices and it is more limited because the resolution of the mesh constrains the texture detail. On the other hand, texture painting allows you to paint arbitrarily on your mesh, regardless of its topology, and it requires UV unwrapping the mesh prior to painting. Let's switch to the vertex paint mode, and when you paint a vertex, its color is changed according to your brush settings. The color of all visible planes and edges attached to the vertex are then modified with a gradient to the color of the other connected vertices unless it is occluded, then it is not. Let's just change our color to something easier to see. I like blue. If we paint a corner of the cube, you should see that the vertex itself is painted and the color is calculated between vertices. Now let's switch back to object mode and press delete to delete the cube, since we already have it selected. Shift A to add a UV sphere. And let's paint on it some just to play with it. It might be a little easier to see how this works with more vertices to play with. Next, let's look at the tools. We have seen all of these guys already, as they are the usual suspects, but let's quickly go over them, just as a refresher. First, we have the Draw tool. This tool puts the colors on the vertices. Then, the Blur tool, which smooths out the colors of adjacent vertices. In this mode, the color value is ignored. The strength defines how much the colors are blurred then the average tool which smooths color by painting the average resulting color from all colors under the brush. The smear tool which smudges colors by grabbing the colors under the brush and dragging them. This can be imagined as a finger painting tool. And the annotate tools. If you long click with the left mouse button, you have a few different tools you can use. These don't affect your paint. Think of them as note taking tools. On the right we see the brush settings once again. We won't go over them here, as we have looked at these a few times now. And below that we see symmetry options. They are mostly the same as what we saw previously, but the difference here rather than in the last video is that you have options to adjust radial axis. These sliders will adjust how many times a stroke is copied across a surface. And that will do it for this video. If you enjoyed this content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And thanks for making it all the way through the video. Please join us in the next one. See you next time.